another thing is too, is if nobody's in here, you can walk right up and just sit with them and pet them. With multiple people, he thinks he's going to get moved. Oh, okay. So he so sees all of us coming around here, and that's why why uh, Chris has he, to film from the outside. Yeah. So this guy's pretty chill when it's not two or three people walking in. He sees all oh, of us coming. He thinks, uh, hey, I man. I want to get a tidal wave before my next show. Stop it. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. You're a good boy, Seven. You're okay. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. He's, he's weird. Other gators, you move them and they're fine with it. And whenever we move him, it's like he'll realize it into it. And it kind of like few minutes into it, he's such a freak now. And this actually shows his intelligence right here because, oh, he you knows. know, he yeah. knows. He's, he's associated a couple people being in the area to uh, him getting moved. And then, yeah. you know. He doesn't like it. He gets one, he doesn't care where it is. You can put him in a mud hole somewhere, he's happy. Actually, gators are probably happier in the mud hole. Um, yeah, he just sees multiple people and he gets totally, total change. It's like a, we've got a Cracker Jack. She would get gravid or, you know, pregnant with eggs, we're going to call it. She'd get gravid, and I could tell she's looking to make a nest. So I would literally pick her up in a bear hug, her face right here, no tape on her mouth. I'd carry her into the back. We used to have uh, cages back here for when they got gravid like that, put nesting material in. I'd leave for half an hour, come back, and she would run into the fence trying to kill you. Because, like, hey, mama's making a nest. Get the heck away from me. Just yeah. change your personality like that. But they'll always let you know. Like seven's not yeah, gonna, well, you can tell. You can tell he's in a, he's seven's, in a different... Seven's not going to... Like just randomly, see he's gonna give me the warning first. Yeah, so this but alligator right here is named Seven. Like, hey, this is not cool. Whoa! What I was trying not to do is get wet. I hate you right now. I hate you right now. Yeah, once we get all the water drained out, we're gonna turn into a different animal. And if there's not people like this close, I don't know, he may still be edgy because there's multiple people in here. Um, so what Paul is actually doing is cleaning, cleaning out his, uh, Cleaning out his tub here, so he's draining the water, and then he's gonna show you this guy acts a little different. Jump! I don't know if he's had any jumps left in him. He used to jump a little bit, but I don't think he's had any jumps left in him. He's an old man. Now he's backing up already. Look at that. You're okay. You're okay. How old is he? I don't know. It'd be a guess. I'd say seven's pushing 40, 50 years old. Um. You're not getting moved, bro. All right, guys. So this is the same alligator you just saw Paul with just a minute ago, where he's he's in the water, and now he's look look how much he's chilled. This looks like a totally different alligator, Paul. Well, he doesn't have you guys in there. When we first came in, we all came in together, so he figured it was moving day. And now that I've been sitting here with him for a little bit, he's calmed down. He chilled and he knows, he knows nothing's wrong. He knows we just cleaned the pit. So. And so, yeah, so Paul has basically drained all the water here. And uh, he's going to clean the pit down and then he's going to put new water in it so that uh, Seven has some nice, clean, clean pond. Yeah, we give him the water from the Everglades. So it still has a tannic acid look to it. People think it should be like crystal clear, like a swimming pool. We don't want chlorine to come up yeah. too much. Uh, so it, st it, it still has a little bit of that yellow to it because uh, um, that's just the color of the water. Yeah, same as same water they're in the Everglades. So you rather give them what they're used to out there than try to get them. You know, city water has a little bit of chlorine and chemicals. Yeah, which is fine for them, but you'd rather just give them the natural stuff and you not know, tap it into the drinking water. So a lot of the gators don't care. I can I can leave Godzilla from that pit to the old back pit with one piece of chicken. He'll yeah. go four five forty trying to catch him. Um, seven will go out of the gate and then realize the jig is up and the gate closes behind him and he just becomes like a wild alligator. It's crazy. Where Godzilla could care less. Um, so same how as Casper. You can take Casper 20 miles on the road, put him at somebody's house in the living room floor to do a commercial shoot. He could care less. You take Seven out of this pit, he's a brand new wild alligator. How long have you worked with Seven? Oh, 15 years, more than that. And, and what's his story? Um, Seven's the only gator that's here that I didn't catch. Um, Seven was already here, he's one of the park's gators. Um, and the guy who was running the pit, I guess they got him from a zoo or something, and he had a big injury on his nose. And uh, 
Yeah, he was just this big. No, he was nowhere near this size. He, he's probably game. Oh, uh -oh. free ride, free ride. Uh oh. We're going in the shade, free ride. Uh oh. Oh, we're going, we go up the stairs. He's going to take you up the stairs. Just lay down, Sarah. Just lay down. Um, but yeah, he uh, he was in a back pit isolated because it was like too big and too mean or whatever. And uh, so I just dragged him out and I put him in with the other gators and he was fine. He, uh, it's funny because Chris is really good with him now. And when I first had Chris here, I brought Chris on and uh, Seven hated him. He was just like... He was just like he was, way worse than he was. So he can actually us. recognize you guys. Oh yeah, he knows. They he has know different they, different they people know. he likes and people he doesn't like as they much. They all know the difference between each one of us just by looking at us. But if I was in there by myself and Chris came in, he would be tough with me. I could pet him in the face at that time. He was a sweetheart already. But when I brought Chris in, he just he hated Chris so much he got mad at me for letting Chris come in the pit in the first place. Um, and Chris by himself was not getting along with him. And then eventually he realized Chris was actually cool and everything was good. But if Chris and I come in together, he'll give us a hard time. Because he thinks he's going to get moved. He thinks he's going to get moved. Just like you guys saw earlier when we came in here and there, when there was water, he thought he was going to get moved. And he was a different animal. Now he's just chill. Yeah, he's, he's just, just Look at that. Look at that. Dude, you are what an awesome guys. alligator. You are slow, kid. Thanks so much for showing us. Yeah, no worries. Very cool. Guys, if you want to check out and you want to want to see Seven in person, you can come out to Evergates Holiday Park um, outside of Fort Lauderdale, and you can you can meet him and you can see him. Meet him from a distance. Yeah, he's a good. It's good. Four hundred pounds, right at ten feet. Um, not not the biggest alligator around, but one of the nicest. Um, trying to get him to spin on me or something. He's not that nice. And this, everybody thinks this is jowls or like fat. That's all jaw muscle. If they lock on something, it, it gets so hard, it's like a baseball. It's like rock solid. Um, I've had friends of mine with their, you know, their hands stuck in a gator's mouth and trying to get it off. And you grab that, and it's like just grabbing a giant, like mass of like, just rock or, or wood or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, but he's a good boy.